what's up guys? Uh, I was just caught checking in to um, confirm that I was working on trying to get my SSA and, um, and EBT back. They told me to uh, send them a paper. I think it was a um, ENT activity report. They told me to send that back to them. And once they told me to send that back to them, they told me that, you know, um, I, I was just saying, like, in case of a situation where I told you guys about the, the wave frequencies and the scatter frequencies. Well, I have a paper about the frequencies, and so once whenever I have a paper about the frequencies, um, seems like... Well, I was talking about the other emails I got scattered frequencies and wave scattered frequencies and the new frequencies uh, coming in behind the other frequencies of the video what I was talking about um, it makes me um, have bad problems like if I was gonna go to have uh, buy the ice cream or something I ran into a person that was a counter out came to social services I was telling you guys about that and that I know that it was in these frequencies path be handled, and you know, I'm not saying that uh, other other help I can have, I, I'll seek to get that as well, such as EBT and SSA. Uh, as being a lawyer on behalf of them, I read the paper pretty thoroughly, and I've done defining that and putting that into terms. And it was why asking me how I was going to get the money to deposit the check inside the ENT activity report and they asked me a very serious and sort of kind of suspicious question on short notice and they discontinued my benefits and that that's going to add up to me to be a core belief to go ahead and purchase the check with ADE a song and things out on HTML leaks like I told Mr. Rick or what I was say Principal Rick in the situation of Coach Corey, Coach Corey, um, Coach Jesse, Coach Scott, any other situation um, how I like to see things, um, mental health and DDP wise, um, uh, to give me a good recommendation to, um, uh, I always keep my nose clean and stay positive outside here walking on the sidewalk and things. Um, another thing is that I was like to think that, you know, um, People wouldn't do things that was get them in trouble or get me out of my comfort zone with my social anxiety inside the program and those things are what's, what's happened and what still are happening. It would be hard for me to do those worksheets and press these times. I think that Mr. Corey is kind of trying to sort of be a pest and that I really like it and that I didn't know how to come to these things. I twist that's why I know we do not govern. So that's why I was taking the problem of legal aid and that. I know the SSA EBT will come at them outside of you know the program on my behalf with legal aid, and there was what handled that situation for me, 
instead of involving you into that mess and acting like there was no type of a problem or being something that could kick me out of the program or push me away, well, not really finding, have, um, found finding being into that, this program and owning my own business and having all that proof that I do on my own business and that I don't know what music you guys would be interested in, but I'm interested in rap and hip hop. And that Death Row Records, this is my music page. And I own that, and there's some shows with it. So the BT show has a check on there, you know, so, such as many other Facebook pages. What represents verification for other authorization that you know that the check will deposit? Also, I got a website. Wikipedia and I'm working on another DVD with another mixtape album where I have out. I'm working on a lot of things so I'm pretty important. So this would be something small and petty that someone would do let's never get away. And have all the uh, authorizations to back it up. So this is me. This is the name of my album, my song. My mixtape. Well, I got a DVD that I'm working with it. This would be me. I have 363 subscribers and more than that. And I manage and market myself very different from other people. And things like that. So for important, I'm not just talking about things. I'm actually really doing them in my life. And so I don't want no one to harm me or hurt me any type of way. So I saw it here, went ahead and took the liberty. I've copyrighted my things and get things handled how I could. And did things what I can do for myself. And was go to legal aid. SSA wants me to um Let's try to get SSI EBT back, and they know that I'm going to direct deposit and cash that check. They work with me, and I have the paperwork, and I got a little bit more work to do on that, so it's coming to you. And I didn't want to feel haste or press for time. Mr. Sean told me that uh, the program, or Principal Sean, lasts for uh, a lot of things which you needed. And I was, uh, we'll talk about social anxiety, core beliefs, and coping, um, things like that. I do. I had a mental such so I got out, so I have so many coping problems or anything like that. Not a long work. I turned it into Mr. Gordon to let him see it, or I would say Coach Gordon. And um, that's what I needed to do was get an S S uh, a license, another ID, and it was pretty frustrating riding the bus. It was kind of hard to get there. I was tired, and it was just out of my way, and it was pretty freezing. And it didn't have to be because I know it's Mr. Kevin's giving people a ride, and Mr. Rick does. I don't know if you do, Mr. Sean, still. But that um, I was like the hope that you did, and that um,
and that um, if you did do so, I was trying to get a ride to get one of those faster. Once when I get that, someone will send me the money. But me and SSA and EBT was having a problem with, with the ENT report. They wanted to know how I was going to get the money. And they didn't do this and do do that. And they So I f put these two things together and I go inside the EBT and SSA and I tell them that, you know, that, you know, um, this and that. And they may give me my money or my things back. But other than that, I won't need them. And I can show you some couple papers where I owe them a little money and things like that. And that I can pay them back for that and understand those terms of the lawyer. And that um, they are taking this very serious whenever I say things like someone encountered me here or there. And so that was what I was going to tell you guys that I wasn't going to too much leave people alone because I was concerned for myself. I was concerned that they would come somewhere and harm me all just aside any other place. And I didn't like that. I didn't want that to happen to me. To see things when I see on TV happen to my personal life, I didn't want to think that things would, like that would happen to me. And that, so I try to take that serious and there they are too. And that like, I, I just, um, Encounter after encounter and rudeness after rudeness. And sometimes, you know, I can understand the good in the program, but, you know, there's a lot of bad in the program and negative energy coming from two or three scattered frequencies, a wave pattern of this frequency. And I call that the MT frequency because it's different from the last one where I've told you guys about the problem that I was having and things like this and things like that. So I hope, you know, things won't go as bad. for me about this whole situation that check cashes and everything goes well I don't own the money and then I don't need to get this and don't need to get that now I have that money about three weeks and about three weeks I can order those checks and they can get here by two weeks and then they'll guarantee direct deposit instead of feeling I am not worthy of my core beliefs And feeling like I can't reverse my core beliefs or my inner dreams using my unconscious and subconscious mind and things like that to bring all actual things in reality like Marissa saying he says.